a good thing for us to get a uh, get our feet back, get our focus back. And we just got to come out and play it. We sucked it up out there on the field this past weekend. We they outplayed us, outsmarted us, outcoached us, out everything, out executed us. Just got to come out and play a big game. You seem still kind of dazed about it. I mean, as a guy who's been around here. How much did that just kind of, you know, knock you off your feet? I mean, it knocked us off our feet because we lost, we lost the game, but we got to find a way to bounce back, catch, catch amnesia, and just be focused on this week. This, this is the game we got to play to get what we want. What do you do to, to forget that quickly? How do you do that? Um, just, just got to focus on Florida. I don't know. We just gotta focus on Florida. I don't know how how we could forget the loss. I mean, it was really embarrassing to the fans, to us. We just gotta bounce back somewhere. What did you see today when you watched film from from your position and the guys around you? I mean, what what was going wrong? What can you do? To it was a lot of a lot of bus coverages, misassignments, just lack of focus. We came out lackadaisical. wasn't a lot of energy a lot of energy out there on the field. Just they just outplayed us from the get go of the game. In retrospect, was anybody looking ahead to Florida? They, I have, I can't say that because I can't answer for nobody but me on the team. But I was, I was focused on Arkansas because I wanted to win here on out. But it looked like we were more focused on Florida instead of Arkansas. What did you? How much more film did you watch today than you normally do on a Monday? Time wise, uh, actually, we all sat in and watched. Both offensively and defensively, we watched each other and see how poor, poorly we did mm -hmm. out there on the field. So it was almost like you were kind of being punished by having to watch it. Is that yeah. Kind of to see crazy? just just to look at everybody's mistakes and our lack of focus. I think that was what he was trying to do, try to get us focused more better on this game. Did you walk away from that feeling any differently about it or having learned more about what happened Saturday watching both sides of the ball? Um, did you kind of leave that meeting or that film session, you know, thinking any differently, learning anything? Just thinking we need to come out more focused, energized, and more prepared for this game. So that's the first time you've done that. Y'all done that as a team since you've been here. Yes, sir. First time I actually sat in on an offensive meeting, and I'm pretty sure it's the first time they sat in on a defensive meeting. How how does uh, all the secondary members in the in the Spurs meeting together change things? Uh, it changed things because most of the time we're not on the same page. We get different, different coaching from different coaches, and they tell us different things to do, and we're basically not on the same page. So, with us being in, with sitting in with each other, get us more prepared, and we we know what to do. Is that something that could help? I yes, don't know I did last week. But. Yeah, I don't think it helped last week, but I, like I said, it was lack of focus. We're gonna be more focused this week. I guarantee you that. Do you know how that came about? Did y'all just show up at one meeting at the same time and, and y'all were there? Or did y'all suggest it or, or what? Actually, I think the Coach Spurs suggested it. And I think it, I think it was a good, a positive thing for the Spurs and the DBs. So I think we're, we'll, we'll be more prepared during the game. Is uh, Coach Beamer still coaching your positions, though? It's yes. just the fact that both coaches are in the They're both helping, so there's a lot of coaching going on. Starting out November with a loss, is there any here we go again? Given his historically slow finishes here, or do y'all do y'all think about that at all? No, nah, we just we have to forget about it and just bounce back this week. We have to lead that lead that loss last week. We have to lead that last week and just be prepared for this game. This game is for the Eastern Division. We just gotta be ready if we want to do something that's never happened here.